This is a how-to on using Git Next Rad to determine a radar's area average rainfall. And to do that, we need to download and install Git Map Area from my free downloads page. Uh, let's go to there. If you scroll down, let me close this. If you scroll down to uh, well, Git Map Area, you can download it, which I already have, and I assume you've downloaded it and installed it. So let's start Git Map Area. Um, you installed it in program files like I have. Git Map Area. Here it is. Git Map Area.exe. Continue. And let's load Save Map. Uh, let's start with Google Map Logons example. And here we have, let's go to New Mexico. Just double click there. Let's zoom in, zoom in. I've got a basin in mind. Let's turn on the terrain up here. Um, keep zooming in. Um, where's Al uh, there's Alamo? Let's find a basin with the contributing area of this uh, town here. Of this town, Alamo, de Mexico, looks like it's something like this. And to do that, we need to set the scale. Oh, well, we need an image for next red to use. Let's start there. Uh, let's press Alt Print Screen to copy to the clipboard. Alt Print Score. Let's go back to the original. Get map area. Uh, right click for menu, load save map, and paste from clipboard. Okay, now this is an image of that uh, Google map. Um, and now we need to set the scale to create a boundary. And to do that, we need to determine two points on this image. Let's, on a diagonal, um, let's find two points. How about that point there, and this point down here, this Ian Hells Mesa. Okay, let's go back to our, uh, where we can drag it around. Let's find this coordinates, latitude, longitude of that road intersection up here. And if you click on that, it'll tell you it's 107 longitude, latitude 34711. And I've started a little notepad here of a, so I can uh, paste these numbers here. For that first point, we've got uh, 107.9915 and 37111. Okay, let's find that other second point we're going to use, the E and L's Mesa. Bring this on top of the uh, E right about there. Click on it and 107 longitude, latitude. Where's my note? And that's the second point would be 107. Well, a little off. <laughs> uh, 60. Okay, we'll continue with this. Um, now we need to convert these latitude and longitudes into radar pixel coordinates. And to do that, we need to fire up uh, lat long pixels. So let's go back to get next rad. And we download and installed lat long pixels. Fire that up. And the radar we're using is ABX. Where's our coordinates? The first pair is 107. Put that in there. And uh, latitude. Put that in there. And convert. And there's our uh, radar pixel. 
axle coordinates, X and Y, uh, that you can see down here. 167, 185, 324, 887. And you do repeat this step using lat long for those two coordinates, and you'll get these two coordinates. Okay, now knowing our scaling points, uh, we can... Uh, no, we don't want to create a point file. We want to create an area file. So uh, let's go back to our image. And let's set the scaling right there, up here. Is our first point. Down here, an E and Hell's Mesa was our second point. And let's choose General Pixels. General Pixels. Not the old next red. Say OK. And now we need our X1, Y1, X2, Y2 pixels, radar pixels. We can take off of my notepad here. Let's just copy it off of here and paste it. Say OK. And now we're ready to uh, start our boundary. So let's right click uh, for menu. Start area. Okay, let's start down here where we want our outlet to be and just kind of eyeball a area. You can drag this where you want. Just do a, a left click and hold it down and drag it. And I'll do this fast just to get the idea of what we're up to here. And uh, end area line and it completed it for us so now in this box uh, we've got uh, the radar pixels locations of each of our clicks and let's save this by right clicking on that box okay and now we need to uh, save this f as a uh, next red file name and down here you can see that the next red file name Uh, consists of uh, next red boundary plus the ID ABX plus the data type ID 10 plus the 0 to 99 you can make them so we're going to use two so let's uh, put that in here for our file name let's save it and we saved it in git map area and we're done with this Those. Okay. Okay, now we got our boundary file. And let's see where we put it. Get map area. We got our boundary file right there. <laughs> Oops. And you'll see that it's got the XY radar pixel coordinates. And let's change this uh, title to something that we can Let's see, my, my new Mexico area. Let's save it. Okay, now we've got to convert this boundary file into a point file. And to do that, we need to fire get next red get next red let's create a point file right there let's find our uh, file we just created uh, program files get map area there it is click on that and it'll set this file name down here for you already and just say create file name okay the base uh, basin point file created and there's a one for each little black speck inside that boundary. It's okay. Uh, now let's um, get a radar loop going for this area. Okay, let's start with the USA. Let's go to. Ooh. Well, I'll continue. Okay. Let's go to somewhere in New Mexico down here, Mexico. And there's our ABX New Mexico. And uh, 
boundaries. No boundaries found because we created it in map area and forgot to copy it. So let's go back here. Get map area. Let's get our two boundary and point file. Let's copy it into our next red. May read our gifts and paste it. Okay, now if we go to, let's put it in my get my or my radar guess. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, select the radar gif. I put it in the radar or in the next NASCAR. Let's go back up here. Let's go to my radar gifs. And now if we well here's some loops we can use too. Let's look at these loops I've already downloaded. Open them up. And there's our file. Get my new Mexico area. Double click that. And you can see our uh, area we created. And up here you can see the average rainfall on every every five minutes. What's the max in that boundary and what it's summed over that uh, about a two, two hour period. Let's see a graph. You can actually watch it accumulate. And that's about it. Thank <laughs> you.